Hi, this is Ronnie, and welcome to my channel, and welcome to Way Back When Wednesday. Today, we're going back to, like, 1935. That's a picture of my dad's father, and I, uh, oh, I'm pointing out there <laughs> that uh, once I put the picture down on the paper, you can't see the zigzag quite as well, but you can see that there is a pattern. Well, on his hat, that band around it, has a pattern similar to what it looks like in the picture after I lay that picture on the paper. So I was wanting something to make it more distinguished and to show up. The other paper is a pinstripe, and I do believe that it is close to my heart. Of course, the uh, strip, uh, the zip strip as they call it, is gone off of there but the other side looks like a paisley piece of paper from close to my heart i'm showing there my dies and all i did was cut out a bunch on my big shot which i have the big shot pro so it's kind of on the heavy side so i don't bring it over because i'm only supposed to lift 15 pounds so that is not something i am supposed to be lifting so i don't know what i'm going to do if i ever have to move it it is heavy and anyway back to the layout I uh, cut out all these, and I planned on my title being longer, but see that word vintage right there in the middle? It kind of got in my way. <laughs> it kept bugging me being there. I kept reading it when I'd read the title. So I, that top half is going to go away. I am not going to end up using it. It's going to lay on the paper for a while, though, because I thought I was going to. And I'm just going to use the bottom that says Discover Life. And those are Tim Holtz suit by Sizzix. And I love the results of them, but they are really hard to get out of the dies. They fit tighter than what I would like them to fit. However, these came out just a little bit better than they usually do. I thought about putting the Steven right there. But it don't stay there. I'm going to end up moving it. And look at those uh, gears. When I went to get the gears out, I noticed that that one gear there looks like a wagon wheel. I could have used it that time when I made a wagon wheel. But it is smaller than what the other one ended up being. And I do like the size on the other one. So it's a good thing I didn't think about that when I was needing one one day. I put a strip of the pinstripe down at the bottom and I'm going to put one at the top and I thought about just leaving the ends but then I decided to fishtail them so I am fishtailing them and I think I ran out of staples because that last one didn't staple right but I don't need it anymore in this layout I'll probably have to fill it up on the next one I am going to layer my um, gears around the page because my grandfather, for what I understand, I'd never seen him do it, <laughs> but he liked to tinker with stuff. Um, everybody on that side of the family all lived in this little teeny tiny place called Hillard. There was his brother's store and railroad tracks, and that's it, <laughs> but it had a name. And they all lived right there, bought property right there, and were all there together, a whole bunch of the family on that side and although we didn't visit him much um we'd visit his brother my uncle because he owned the store and he'd be right there we'd stop in the store and visit and go on usually fishing but um after he was older my dad and him would go fishing dad would pick him up and they would go fishing and um i'd He'd come for dinner, like on Saturday afternoon or Sunday. They'd spend the whole morning fishing, come back to the house, and Mom would cook something. But that was like when I was a teenager. And by then, he looked a lot different than he does in this picture or the other picture that I have of him. I wished I had one when he was older, because those are more of the memories that I have in my head of him. Uh, but, yeah, I thought I'd do this... Uh, like I said, you know, they said he liked to tinker. There was a garage behind my, well, my, not, not my uncle, my great uncle, his brother store. And all the brothers and nephews, everybody would be back there tinkering on cars and doing different things. But, you know, girls weren't invited back there. And 
course, I didn't want to go either. I just since talked to my Aunt Catherine in the store and sit there and drink a soda in the cool air. We didn't have air conditioning at home. So, yeah, it was nice to have air conditioning. And here I decided, I had those uh, gears up there, and I kept thinking it just didn't look quite right. It needed something else. And I thought, well, I do have that banner at the bottom, but I didn't want to put a banner going a different way because of the one up there at the top. So I decided to add more of a circular element. So I punched the scallop punch, and then I punched the circle punch. And after I punched it, I got to thinking, well, I could put it in underneath this one with the big circle out of the center instead of just laying it on like a plan to start with just laying it on the paper and have it with the other layers of the gears and I like that better and I did do it vertically since the scalloped one was vertical too and here I planned I'm using that truck he had this motor scooter thing it wasn't a real motorcycle it was one of those slow ones that probably didn't go over 30 miles an hour and it had a platform like for them him to set his feet on and so he couldn't go very fast on it and i'd see him all the time in town i mean he kind of stood out he's the only one that had one of those but uh when it got cold weather he had a pickup truck and i was going to use that on this page well by the time I got this far along and thinking of it, there was no place to put it. But I still have another picture, so I can probably use it there. I have no picture or sticker of the little scooter thing that he rode, but I might come up with something by the time I pull that other picture out here to scrap. And there I'm still trying to use that other part of that title, but it don't work. I just cannot find anywhere that I could use it on and be happy with it. Um... Uh, I decided to work on the rest of this little cluster up here. Well, it's not quite the rest of it. But at the time, I was thinking it was. And I pulled out those uh, arrows to cut. And those are lawn fawn. Lawn cuts, I believe it is. And I put a shim behind them because I have on my thing to put a shim on there. And I cut it four or five times and added another shim. And I still didn't get them all to cut right. But these on this side cut better, so they're the ones that I've got and that I'm using. And, yeah, I am wanted them on here to signal, to portray, like, going places. Because he seemed like he's always going somewhere and always doing something. And I, they, they said once that he was working on the riverboat even. He liked to go places and work and travel and do that too but then as he got older he stayed right here in town and worked here in town rather than traveling but he did like to do the traveling and since you know he was divorced and didn't have any kids at home you know he could do that and let's see oh i put enamel dots on there I started to put those other ones on but they didn't go near as well as these blue ones did so I wanted a different texture and add another color too because this is pretty monochromatic. The background is kind of a grayish blue with the writing. So yeah, they're all tones of blue and grayish blue and yeah, but I do like the colors. I just don't that often do an actual monotone layout. And his name was Steven. And so, yeah, I keep trimming on that. I didn't have a cut to start with to go with this. I just kind of used it, and I should have paid attention for I glued it down that it was a tiny bit bigger. And since my little note things there didn't work, I thought about gluing one on the back. And then I thought, I can write on this clock. That'll work. So I am writing my journaling on there, which isn't a whole lot. It just says who he is and that he's the father of Charles and Goldie, my aunt and then i thought I better put the year circa 1935 because i didn't have that on the front but you will see in the photos that it's on there because i kept thinking about it and thinking about it and i thought well i'm going to go ahead and put them on there and i used a sizzix die it's tim holtz too but it's one of those 12 inch strips foot long kind of things and it makes tiny letters even smaller than that martha stewart punch that i used to make his name but yeah, I used my gears and my arrows and no stickers because you've seen that one did not work out. 
and scraps. I did use scraps and made my layout. And that paper is um, Teresa Collins. And I can't remember the name of it, but I know it is Teresa Collins. And it worked really well for this. But yeah, there's my layout. And thanks for going back to 1935 with me. And if you leave a comment below, I'll get back with you. And if you like the video, hit a thumbs up. I'd appreciate it. And if you are not subscribed to my channel, I'd love to have you subscribe. And oh, 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 one more thing. <laughs> Tomorrow, there will be another heritage layout. And it'll be under the, the disguise of Mercy Tierra's Inspiration Winter YouTube Hop. And it will be a heritage photo in there. So check it out. But thank you all so much for watching and have a happy scrappy week. Bye.